back. Yes, there's been lots of media publicity about Angelina Jolie and adoption. Well, David, earlier on, uh, we came up with that word buster during one of the, uh, the word mixes, um, and you mentioned you were going to talk a little about it. Yes, but from a different angle, uh, I'm actually going to talk about two TV shows, uh, and the titles of those shows have quite fascinating backstories. And the first is Mythbusters, which is that very popular SBS show with uh, Jamie and Adam. Uh, and that comes from mythos, which is Greek for uh, speech or story, and buster which is a, a variation on to burst. So it is to break something. So as Jamie and Adam do, they break down myths, uh, often urban myths about, uh, you know, what things uh, are capable of doing or what stories are, are, can be verified. Actually, buster, I mean, it's also one of those words that can be used as a slightly aggressive term, you know, watch it, buster. Well, that's... Well, what have I done now? <laughs> uh, and that relates to that idea of bursting. It's often... Uh, describing someone as being a little bit pugnacious or a bit pushy. Um, and there's crime busters and there's chart busters and gut busters and, and also belly busters. It's that idea of bursting. Now, the other TV show is uh, on ABC is Gruen Transfer. Now, this has a fantastic story attached to it because uh, in the 1950s, there was an Austrian designer of uh, shopping malls called Victor Gruen, and uh, he came up with this concept of uh, essentially trying to break people's um, expectations as you walk into one of these, you know, huge complexes of retail. Um, the first thing that you would be struck by with is not by shops, but in fact with music or a piece of art. Uh, and it would be this that would actually sort of kind of derail you and uh, disarm you and, in fact, make it more of a, uh, you know, a sort of rich experience. And that is what actually sort of lulled you into sort of more of a uh, shopping mode without realising you were shopping. And that is the Gruen transfer. That is fascinating. I, I assume that it was just made the name up, but I hadn't <laughs> realised it was based in history. No, it's a fascinating story. It was indeed. Thank you, David. Let's have a look at the scores. Nick, 11, John, 14. And we're heading for some more letters uh, from you, Nick, please. I'll start with a consonant. Thanks, Lily. Thank you. N. And another, please. L. And a vowel, please. A. Another consonant, please. V. And a vowel, please. I. Another vowel. E. And a consonant, thank you. R. And another vowel. O. And I'll finish with a consonant, thank you. And lastly, N. And I'll start the clock. those letters, Nick? Uh, just a six that time, Richard. And for you, John? Uh, I wasn't a lover of those, no, only five. Five for you? Well, let's, uh, let's get that out of the way first of all. Lover. Lover. Okay, <laughs> very well done. And Nick? I'd ravine. That's all right, David, isn't Good it? Good play. Yeah, well done. Um, and in fact, I should have just added, uh, interesting, the difference between a myth and a legend is mythos is speech and legend relates to the idea of reading. So often myth is spoken and a legend is what has been set down. Oh, interesting differentiation. Mm. Now, what did you get out of this mix? That's a good ravine and I went uh, one better with aileron, that uh, flap on a wing. Good stuff. And six points for Nick. Let's see what we can make from our next lot of letters and uh, that's your job, John. Lily, may I start with a consonant? You may, thank you. G. And another one, please. T. One more, please. H. One more, please. C. A vowel now, please. A. One more, please. One more vowel, sorry. E. Another vowel, please. A. A consonant now. S. And another consonant, please. And to finish, L. 30 seconds on the clock.
A naughty six. A naughty six. Look forward to that. Nick? I had a seven. Hold that for a sec. Let's go with the naughty one. Cheats. Cheats. Certainly can't have any of that around here. Nick? I had latches. No problem with latches, David. Not. In fact, I uh, latched onto the same uh, seven letters and made uh, satchel or chalets also in those uh, seven. Nice anagrams. Seven points for Nick. Let's head back to a little number juggling now and uh, help us with that, Nick. Lily, as much as I'd like to go for something crazy, I think I'll stick with the family, Nick. Thanks. Too large and four small. You disappoint me, Nick. Oh, no, sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I do fact, like no, it. You could reconsider now. You could do the wild thing if you wanted to. It's right. I'm, yeah, this is I'm your last chance. Up. I'll stick with it. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh. All right. I do like the family, Nick. So our numbers: seven, nine, three, eight, and the too large: one hundred and seventy-five. The target to reach is 894. After it we go. Crazy thing there, Nick, but uh, did you do an effective thing? Uh, not quite. I'm one off, Richard. 8.95. 8.95, just one away. Well, that's pretty good going. John, how did you go? I'm also one off on 8.95. OK, well, hang on to yours. Nick, you chose the numbers, so uh, tell us what you did. Uh, so, 9 multiplied by 100. 9 is, by 100. Is 900. 900. Uh, minus 8. Minus 8. Is 8.92. Yeah. And plus 3 is 8.95. 895. So that's pretty good going. Only one away from the target. Now, John, um, did you take the same approach? I think I'm almost exactly the same. Um, I, I just made it slightly different. OK, give us, give us your little variation. I started the same and then I just went 8 minus 3 to get 5 and then I took the 5 from the 900 yes, to that's, get that's 895. The Effectively the same. So if you could just verify uh, that you have used effectively the same method. So, very nice work uh, from both John and Nick there. What did you do, Lily? Um, I actually started the same and realised that you can't get that remaining um, six off the 900 if you go down this way. So, if you tweak it a little bit, you can. Um, so, uh, eight minus seven is one, and we'll play with that. So, 100 minus one by nine is 891, and then you add the three, 894. Way to go. Nice solution, Lily. But uh, John and Nick, jolly well done. Seven points each. So John is on 21. Nick, 10 ahead, 31. We are heading for another break, another word mix for you. Grind kin with the clue, regally imbibing. See you after the break.